So today we're going to be doing a little bit of an assembly video for a customer. I've uh, built a uh, custom uh, 40 inch uh, sponge ringer and I'll get to that. But what I'm using for a stand is actually this Wen Sawhorse and uh, got that uh, off of Amazon and uh, it's actually a pretty cool tool. So I'm going to do the uh, assembly on it uh, or the erection on it and uh, everybody can kind of see how it works and then I'll go on to the mounting of our custom ringer. So uh, I've been pretty happy with the other uh, WEN tools that I purchased. I uh, modified this one just slightly. Um, if you can see in here to unlock the legs, I just push the button in, the leg extends, just push it out, lock the leg. I don't know the exact weight on here, but it's fairly light. You get quite a few features in here. What uh, made me pick this one over a couple of the other ones on the market, which I'm sure are good as well, is uh, one, I've owned other WEN tools and uh, at the price point, I find them to be uh, very competitive. I got an angle grinder, a, uh, what else do I have? All right, so the leg slides down, I believe it's like nine locking points and that's pretty, pretty handy right there. Pretty slick design. So I'll go ahead and put this on the highest setting So that's pretty steady there. Um, a feature I don't know if I would ever use, but you know, for making a table, it is kind of cool. Uh, you can put your two by fours in here and um, run to a second sawhorse. And then if you put a plywood over the top of that, that would make a really nice kind of mobile workbench. Um, that nine, the nine inch uh, height adjustment, uh, that doesn't get you super high. You can see that is, I don't know, I could put a tape measure on there. I may do that before the end, uh, end of the video, but uh, that will give you an idea. Okay, so now um, I did make a couple modifications uh, to this when sawhorse. Um, I drilled a hole right through here on these outboard 2x4 holders and on each side, and that accepts the ringer that I have here. This ringer has a um, couple slots in the base. I can just slide that right in there. Then I've got wing nuts on the back side. I can just tighten it down. Now, the wing nuts that uh, I have on here for the customer, if you want to put, um, I would probably, if I was gonna be leaving this mostly permanently uh, in one spot, I would use some maybe nylon locking nuts that I will include and um, just so it locks it on there good and stable. Um, I've left the, the paper on these rollers just to keep them clean. Uh, that black nitrile that we make most of our ringer rollers out of uh, really attract uh, light color dust. Um, to our customers that purchase our regular ringers. Uh, I'll just leave them uncoated and we pack in a um, brown paper rather than a plastic. And that tends to, um, the, the lint kind of off of those tends to attract to those rollers. But anyways, alrighty. So to attach the drain board, it's pretty, pretty simple. If you're using this super heavy duty over a long period of time, it might need a uh, extra frame underneath this um, drain board. But for right now, this should get you going. So basically it's just a quarter inch bolt that shoots through the side there. And the same on the other side. Once again, uh, I'm just using a light nylon lock nut and when you put it through just put it part way through so it doesn't 
interfere with that outside bolt and then just screw it on there. And that gets your drain board. I will kind of show you the setup here with a bucket that we're going for. And um, on a shorter, uh, if you're bringing really a lot of liquid through this, might want to put it on a lower setting and um, get that a little closer to the bucket or set your bucket on a block. So that right there is the uh, ringer assembled. Have a crank handle right here and that will get you going. So as you can see, pretty simple to assemble. If you want to adjust the tension, you've got your two spring um, tension wing nuts here on either side. Adjust them equally to whatever tightness that you like. I would recommend um, staying as loose as possible and then tightening as needed. Uh, these rollers have a one inch steel core to minimize um, any flexing and um, you still may get a little bit of flexing if you're wringing uh, heavy duty items other than a, a sponge. Um, they're uh, one and three quarters of an inch OD night trail. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this real quick and get some dimensions on this when um, sawhorse. And keep in mind, that this when saw this is just one example of how useful these when uh, sawhorses are, and they're fairly easily modified. As you can see, this right here makes for a nice mount for this ringer, but you really could use it for not just on the work site. I mean, family gatherings. Uh, you know, tables, that kind of thing. So, for those of you who might be interested, I've got a um, overall width of just under 43 inches. I've got on the, on, well, let's go ahead and go for the width first. So the main body of it is uh, like two, get that over here for the camera, is like two and seven eighth. Uh, but do keep in mind if it's very critical, uh, where you're fitting this in, they've got a couple of um, castle nuts here, acorn nuts, that make it stick out farther. So that would give you like a total width of like three and three quarters. Um, this is on the highest setting. You get a height of just over 32 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to the lowest and that will give you an idea for its capacity. And once again, you can see this is a fairly heavy duty. I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with this locking mechanism. It is better than I had expected, to be honest with you. Okay. All right. So this is the lowest level and it is just at about uh, 24 inches. It weighs, uh, it's fairly easy for packing around. It weighs uh, just about 21 pounds. And uh, this is the box that it will come in. It's got team lift on here, but I don't really count 21 pounds as being a team lift. That's a pretty easy move. All right, so we don't sell this item, but uh, we have started doing some Amazon affiliate links on items that we like when we purchase them. This one right here definitely gets my endorsement. So we're gonna put a link down in the description. If you're interested in purchasing one of these after watching this video or really at any time, go ahead and hit that link and um, we'll get some of the uh, proceeds off of it. And I think that'll help us out and it'll help you out because I think you'll be happy with one of these if you're looking for a sawhorse. Anyways, go ahead, check out our other videos. You can check out our website, give us a ring, uh, leave a message. I'm always excited to get uh, those comments on our videos. Let us know what you think and um, we'll see you on the next video. God bless and see you soon.